Hey, what's up guys? Kevin the Tech Ninja here, and today I'm gonna tell you what's on my Pixel 2 XL. A lot of you guys have been asking, so let me tell you what I'm rocking. All right, before we talk about what's in the device, let's talk about what's on the device. So the screen protector I'm rocking is the White Stone Dome. The reason I'm using the screen protector is because on the Note 8, I could not find a screen protector that worked good. And the White Stone Dome was the only screen protector that worked with the edges that sort of curved with it. So I want to give them a shot too with the Pixel 2 XL as well. And it actually works really well. It is on the pricey side at 50 bucks and a lot of people scoff at that and I totally understand it. But if you're paying 900 bucks for a phone, another 50 bucks to protect it isn't a big deal in my opinion. The case around it is the Ring Key case. Um, it's kind of a cheap one I got from Amazon, but it gets the job done. When I'm walking around, I'm commuting and things like that when I'm not at home, I like to have a case on my device just to protect it to that next level. And under the case, I'm rocking the D brand skin. The dragon skin is down there hiding in its lair behind the case. And I really love the D brand dragon skin. I, I put that on most of the devices I actually have too. So check out D brand in the links below. So let's talk about what's on the device. Beginning with the wallpaper. You see this little wallpaper here, it's all black, but then on the edges we have um, these colors. It kind of reminded me of the Nexus as the pixel derived from the Nexus. I kind of want to pay an homage to Nexus, so I kept the colors there. It's a wallpaper that someone created and I'm just using it now. So I'm gonna link below how to download it and put it on your device, but I think it's really, really cool. And also it is still black. So you have that AMOLED technology kicking in, giving you the better battery life because it's not using as much power. In the middle, I have a widget. This is from Zuper Widget. And Zuper Widget is just a widget, uh, a widget app that lets you install skins. And the name of the skin is, it's like colors, but it's rolled in a, like a minimalistic way. Colors, and I think it's widget number 10, I believe. But that's what I'm doing right here. It just says the, the day, which is the 7th, says the day of the week, which is Sunday, then it says January 2018, a couple little colors here, sort of matching the whole thing, and then it says the time, which is 9.48. Uh, I don't really look at that for the time, I look at the top right for the time, but it's just kind of a cool little widget here, chilling at the bottom, which is uh, definitely nice. All right, so we're gonna work our way towards the bottom here, speaking of bottom, and we're gonna talk about these icons. These icons I actually got from an icon pack, um, the icon pack, I believe it's called Min. Yep, the icon pack is called Min. Uh, you just download it from the Play Store and bam, you have these icons. You then you have to change your launcher. So I'm rocking Nova Launcher, which gives me some flexibility to do these things. It gives you customization and all that stuff like that. You guys seen Nova Launcher before, but um, one thing about Nova Launcher, it lets you change the icons. So the icon that I'm rocking is Min. And these are folders right here. So I can go over these folders and talk about what's inside. So. Um, the first folder here is home. This is like for anything in the home, home automation and stuff like that, home. So I click on home and now um, I have my Lithix bulbs, Hue, Wemo, Smart, all that stuff. And most of the stuff, I say pretty much everything's voice controlled, but having uh, these at a quick button press is also nice too. Cause sometimes, let's say I do Lithix, sometimes I come in here and I wanna adjust the dojo area, like I'm shooting video or I'm about to shoot video, I can then tap a button here, make the changes or do whatever I need to do at that moment in just a few seconds, which is definitely nice. Let's say I wanna change the this little light, this little lamp behind me, so I wanna change it to this kind of this reddish color and brighten it up a little bit. I can do all that stuff right here from the, to the you know, right here from just a press, which is definitely nice. Um, I also have Hue, which I had some Hue bulbs too, and I was kind of using both for a little bit to figure out which ones I like. I had them all coordinated with my voice, so it's not a big deal, but these lamp, this lamp right here, another lamp right here, and bedroom lamps are Hue, so I have the Hue control too. Um, whatever I need to do, I can do it with Hue off from here. They're kind of the exact same thing I was doing before. Um, change it, oh, the colors change it, okay. All right. Um, what else do we have in here? We have Wemo, Smart Things, Nano Leaf, Casa, Noon, all that stuff I control with uh, with Amazon Echo and also the um, Amazon and also the Google Home as well for the most part. Amazon Echo is a little bit further in home automation, but Google Home is catching up daily. It feels like the next button over is money, cash, money, YouTube ads, y'all. What am I doing? 
And in here, I have all my apps that relate to money. So I have my like credit union checking account. I have the cash app. So if someone owes you money, you want them to pay up right then and there, they can use the cash app, send you money quickly. Uh, Electronium, which is uh, cryptocurrency, um, Binance, Jax, crypto market, all cryptocurrency stuff. I don't talk about cryptocurrency. I, I secretly do it, but I've been doing it for a while. I'm kind of an earlier investor and uh, things are going good right now. The next button, the next icon over is weather timeline and i actually like weather timeline a lot because number one is just a really good looking weather app i like good looking minimum apps minimal apps and this app is really nice really fun to use um, has a nice black and white widget matches the theme yes i love when things are on theme go ahead and click it oh my god i live in michigan so we got all these weather statements and all this stuff going on alerts and crap you know, it's the winter right now, but uh, I like it because it tells you what you need to know right then and there. So it says the next hour, next 24 hours, next seven days, really easy to use, but you also have this traditional graph and traditional outlook as far as weather and temperature, but everything's nice, easy to read, bold, just looks really nice. Like I said, it's one of a great, great weather app that I really like to use. It's real fun to use, really easy to use. Um, you know, I kind of like apps like that. So at the bottom here, uh, at the little navigation bar, we're gonna talk about what we have down here. Uh, this is actually the dock, not the navigation bar. Um, we have phone, which is obvious, you go to your phone. Then right here is my messaging center, I call it. I have Hangouts, Messages, and Messenger. They all kind of sit there together. So anything, if I need to do a message, I go here to do so. In the middle is T9 App Dollar. People like to talk trash about T9 App Dollar, but for me, it helps me get to whatever app I want so fast. So I type, I click on T9 App Dollar. Let's go to get to Chrome, boom, Chrome. Let's say I wanna to get to uh, YouTube, you, YouTube. It's just really fast for me to get to whatever app I want within a matter of a couple taps. Works for me. I don't have to go in the app drawer and start looking for apps. I can literally just type it in and go right to it. Next button over is Mail. And right here is just uh, my mail clients, Newton Mail and Inbox. Newton Mail is a great mail app. Um, it's just 50 bucks a year, which is very expensive. So um, if you ain't about that mail life, then don't go ahead and pay $50 a month. Just use Inbox or use Gmail or some other free mail service out there. That's a lot of doggone money. Um, and the last folder over is actually all of my, uh, just like miscellaneous apps that I use often. So in here I have Twitter, I have Reddit, I have House and I have Track TV. So Twitter is pretty obvious. I use the default Twitter app. It has this night scene, night theme that just feels really nice. It's just a, a really nice Twitter app. I don't, I don't complain. They did a really great job at it. Um, and that's, that's really it. Very, very simple. Um, and then I have Reddit, which is a standard Reddit app. Um, they had some crazy nice Reddit apps that like boost and stuff like that, but it seems like those no longer are able to use the Reddit app. Uh, Reddit services. I love this GIF. Watch, watch this GIF, guys. This, this is actually pretty crazy. This guy like just released the squirrel back to the wild. He had it in his hand, put it on his tree. And then here comes Mother Nature. Come on. Yoink! Oh, it's Mother Nature at its finest. And then down here at the bottom, we have House, which I don't use anymore, I have to be honest, but it is action tiles tied in with uh, smart things, but don't worry about that. So if you watch TV in different places, like I watch TV on Netflix, watch TV on TV, and watch TV on Cody, then you'll know that keeping track of where you left off is pretty tough. In this app or in this website service, you can mark things off as you watch it. Cody has a plugin, so if you watch it on Cody, it marks it off. You can do things and see what's trending, what's popular. You can say what things you wanna watch. So you have an idea of what you need to watch, what you wanna watch, so you can be more prepared instead of scrolling through Netflix like, what you wanna watch, bae? I don't know, bae. What you wanna do, bae? I don't know. Now you know what you wanna do, bae, and then you can do it all within this app. And I guess we're gonna do one more app bonus round. We're gonna do one more app, and this is HD Home Run. I just got the newest HD Home Run installed. HD Home Run lets you watch TV through over-the-air antenna or a cable card, depending on which one you buy, anywhere, on any device. Not anywhere, but on any device. So for example, my phone, I have this set up to go to my, um, to my antenna. So this is my antenna. I have all my local channels. I have, I have a lot of channels, like 25 channels. And this is just over-the-air antennas. You click on the channel and it goes right to it. It is really, really nice to have. Um, you can hook it up to your TVs, anything like that. It just sits on your network. Very cool app. 
free to use once you buy the hardware and they have a DVR and all that fun stuff too. So that's HD Home Run. I have the Quattro Connect, the newest version. Video will be dropping soon on that. But anyways, guys, that is what I have on my Android device. What do you have on your Android device? You tell me. Let me know down below what you're rocking on your Android device, what apps you're running, what themes. You know what, upload a picture to Google and send me a, send me a picture of it. I'm gonna check them out and I'm not gonna do a contest or anything, that's Zach's thing. But you know what, I like to look at your themes and maybe draw some inspirations and maybe tweet out some of my favorite ones. Anyways guys, follow me on Twitter at Tech Ninja Speaks, Instagram at Tech Ninja Speaks, at Tech Ninja Speaks in all places. Just type it in, it'll come right up and uh, let's communicate. Anyways guys, here's to a happy 2018. I'll let you guys later. Peace.